Today's video, how to install a universal power connection kit on a self-regulating heat cable. The components for the power connection kit include a heater feed-through fitting, a half-inch uh, heat shrink tube, two eighth-inch heat shrink tubes for the bus wires, and one ground wire heat shrink tube. Tools required are a propane or electric heat gun, a tape measure, a needle nose pliers, a aviation snips or other cutting tool, and a straight blade or electrician's knife. Start by pushing on the heater feed-through fitting with the threaded end toward the power connection side. Next, measuring seven and a half inches uh, from the end of the heat cable, score all the way around the heat cable outer jacket. Starting at the score mark, cut all the way along the heat cable, just through the outer jacket, all the way to the end of the heat cable. Remove the outer jacket, exposing the ground braid inside. Bunch the ground braid up toward the score mark uh, so that you will be able to insert a needle nose pliers uh, in near the score mark uh, so that you can then push the inner core up through that opening created by the needle nose pliers. Pull the ground braid tight and twist so as to form one continuous ground braid wire. Measuring approximately one inch from the outer jacket score, score the inner jacket all the way around. Score the inner jacket from that score mark all the way to the end of the heat cable. Remove the inner jacket exposing the inner core. Starting from the inner jacket score mark along the narrow edge of the heat cable, uh, strip back and expose uh, the inner bus wire, being careful not to nick or damage the inner bus wire. Using an aviation snips, make two diagonal cuts uh, aiming toward the bus wires uh, so that you can expose the bus wires, grabbing them with a needle nose pliers uh, to allow you to uh, fold back the bus wire and remove it uh, from the inner core all the way back uh, to the score mark of the inner jacket. Repeat this step for the bus wire located on the other side of the heat cable. Using your snips, remove the leftover inner core portion of the heat cable. Slide the eighth inch heat shrink tubing over both bus wires so that approximately one half to three quarters of an inch is exposed. Using a heat gun, propane or electric, fully shrink the heat shrink tubes to the bus wires so that hot melt is protruding out of both ends. Slide on the green and yellow ground braid heat shrink and using an electric or propane heat gun, heat shrink this tube down until it is fully shrunk. There is no hot melt in this heat shrink tube, uh, so you're done when it's fully shrunk to the ground braid. Slide the half inch tube over the two heat shrunk bus wires, pushing it tight to the ground braid score mark. A fully heat shrink uh, this half inch tube, uh, seating it not only to the inner core, uh, but also shrinking it tight around uh, the bus wires. You may need to pull the bus wires apart uh, to keep them separated. Using a needle nose pliers, uh, pinch between the two bus wires through that tubing, holding for approximately 20 seconds uh, until it is fully uh, cooled and seated. This separates the two bus wires from one another. Trim any excess bus wires off, as well as any excess ground braid off, uh, to make it suitable for wire nutting to your line voltage. Push the heater feed-through fitting up toward the power connection assembly, and now you're ready to insert it 
into a junction box. Hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.